All right, what I got for you guys today is the NBA Youngboy talks about fame, his music career, and more. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. I like I that jacket. I'm positive about myself, though, one day. Like, all right, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. You okay to walk this earth? You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. Mm. Where's he at, though? I'm just on the man that I'm gonna become. Billboard presents NBA young boy. How old is NBA? Y'all let me know down in the comments. Oh, he's in Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. I think I grew out of liking music, like the love for it. But it's like, it's therapy. It's the only way I can express myself. And as I sit down behind the mic and just let things he has fly a my huge mouth, I feel really music catalog. Man, I was. And I only like, I want to say like five I songs. 16, I want to listen to a lot of his music. I was the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn. They got me. Man, mm. look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's mm. ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten in the car or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day. But I promise to clean whatever I can clean. Okay, yo, hey, I like to hear that. You know, NBA Youngboy, like I said, his music is huge, and it's nice to know that, you know, he's recognized the impact that his music has had on the youth. It's really good to know that he plans on cleaning up his music. <clears throat> NBA Youngboy's music and videos have been streamed more than 10 billion times, yo, guys. That is insane. Oh, my gosh. Since October 2021, he's been under house arrest for a weapon charge. You still I actually music. want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I can double back and purchase some of these while I can have my fun in. That's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. Mm, okay. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human, when he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel, my protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he love people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> One of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really I could live out there, yo. He liked you. I don't mind the cool. Like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural. Like, just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. <laughs> and I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just know a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. Mm. I am very scared of people like all my kids I'm terrified of how many people. kids are there and I'm very shy but I never knew why once I walk on the stage I could get it done and leave but I'm terrified of people people are cruel it's like you can't control yourself so you never know what someone to do. They never pause a while, but he's not lying. Always, you know, knew 
what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I uh, was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. And I mean, they, they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be himself. He's not going to be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. That's what it was. You can't be on top forever. You know? There's always to be another artist. But there'll never be another young man. Or he only has two kids? I will not be broken. And I'm not going back to where I used to be. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. I only will get more groovy from here. Hmm. The day I walk out this door, it's going to be a whole lot of doing. That it. Shout out to NBA Youngboy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Also, recommend me videos to react to over in the Discord. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Tune in, never tune out. Remember, every day you have a choice. Truly growth. It's your boy ATM. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.